This may be the biggest challenge facing gold and silver stackers. And there's a dirty little secret you need to know. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Yankee Stacking. So what is the biggest challenge facing gold and silver stackers? And what's the dirty little secret you need to know? Well, the answer to the first question is this. Convincing others to stack silver and gold. Yep, that's it. Making the case for buying silver and buying gold can be the hardest thing to pull off. But why is that? I'm going to tell you in this video. And I'll also share what to do to increase the odds of convincing others to stack. But be warned, it isn't easy. In fact, the odds are stacked against you, pun intended. <laughs> As to the dirty little secret you need to know, watch to the very end to hear what that is. Just hit the like button when you do. Before I dive in, big Congrats to my favorite online bullion dealer, SD Bullion, for being named Top 100 Online Retailer by Digital Commerce 360. This year, SD Bullion hit number 96 on their list. So that may explain the subtle 96 that keeps popping up all over their website. <laughs> Check them out and get your silver and gold online from SD Bullion, just like I did with this tube of freedom rounds. They are awesome. And it was a killer deal. Look at that freedom round. SD bullion. Love it. All right. Back to the challenge at hand. Convincing others that stacking silver and gold is the right thing to do. And I'm guessing I don't have to convince you First, you see the news, you hear the warnings after warnings of economic danger to our country, to the world, and you've converted some fiat paper money into sound money, real money, to protect yourself and your family. You get it. So good job. Now, you want to share that knowledge of stacking precious metals with everybody else, especially those you really care about. And when you do, it doesn't work. Why? Well, I think there are several reasons, but let me start with the first one. Your approach is wrong. You're, you're, you're going in guns blazing. You're, you're talking about some apocalyptic end of the world scenario, and you're scaring the living daylights out of your friends and family. Stop it. Stacking gold and silver is a positive act born out of negative economic realities. You need to focus first on the positive, not the negative, all right? The opportunity that exists for people to secure some financial freedom to protect themselves. Don't try to scare people into stacking silver and gold. Yep, warn them about things I'm going to mention in a minute, but don't freak people out. That's the first thing. Number two, are you talking about silver and gold all the time around people? Be honest. This is a common thing to do, especially with new stackers. You're excited. I get it. I know the feeling personally, but your family and friends may think you're just caught up in a, a cult or a, a multi-level marketing pyramid scheme or something. Stop talking about it all the time. Life isn't all about silver and gold. It's certainly not the most important thing in the world. It's not the most important thing to me. So, ease up. Be prepared to explain the importance of stacking precious metals as a, a very prudent thing to do, but be really careful how often you talk about it. Wait for the conversation to naturally make sense to broach the subject. The third thing is, is the biggest uh, issue that I want to talk about, something you may not even be aware of. And this is where I'll tell you the dirty little secret you got to know. You're fighting a psyops war against gold and silver. You are. There is a conspiracy, and I'm using that word really carefully and deliberately here, okay? There is a conspiracy to convince Americans that true money is found in plastic, okay? 
credit cards, in, in IOUs from the Treasury, from uh, you know, government stimulus and welfare, in anything but silver and gold. Governments have and continue to intentionally rig our economic system. And they've done it by gaining control over formal education, our once free press, our banks, Wall Street, the entire financial system. They've successfully redefined wealth as debt. And they've done it in just eight short decades. They did it so that they could go on an 80-year spending spree. But here's the dirty little secret governments hide from you and something you can share with people. Governments don't trust each other's currency. That's why all governments keep their dealings involving gold secret. Governments stack gold. They just don't want you to stack gold or silver because those are threats to their power. Your government wants you in debt and holding debt. They want wealth in their hands, not yours. Your friends and family were never taught this. Starting in school, when they were never taught financial skills as kids, they were never taught the constitutionality of gold and silver coinage. They were brainwashed into trusting glorified IOUs from the treasury, Federal Reserve notes backed by thin air. And now they're being fed a steady stream of economic propaganda by government officials and by so-called experts on CNBC or Fox Business, MSNBC, whatever. That's the problem. And that is what you are up against. A largely successful psyops war against gold and silver. And I know personally how super frustrating that is. We know the dangers We know the facts, and we want to share it. Facts facts like our money is created in unlimited quantities by some office clerk tapping on a keyboard. Facts like simple math shows our national debt can never, ever, ever be paid. That no paper currency has ever survived massive overprinting by any government in all of history. That eventually, our U.S. dollar will hyperinflate, causing our privileged way of life in the U.S. to end. That gold and silver can never be printed. That gold and silver have been true money for thousands of years. That gold and silver have undisputed track records of holding value through wars, natural calamities, empire changes. So what do we do? Do we just give up helping people? No. Don't be discouraged. Keep trying. Just be careful who you tell about your stacking and how you do it. With the right person, when the opportunity arises, explain the facts that I just mentioned, but do it gently. Show them a silver coin or round. All right, tell them that the U.S. Mint still mints gold and silver. Show them the the familiar markings right here. Liberty. See? United States of America. E pluribus unum. In God we trust. Well, that's still there. Show them gold and silver. Let them hold them in their hands. Let them feel the incredible weight of real money. It's compelling. Now, I'm guessing seven or maybe eight times out of 10, it still won't work. You will invariably get the classic standard replies on why you should never buy gold and silver. Stuff like, well, Yankee, if things go really sideways, no one's going to want your silver or gold. They'll only want a loaf of bread. Or it's so outdated. It's, It's so overpriced. It won't make you money. It doesn't cash flow. It doesn't provide a yield, et cetera, et cetera. Now, some of those arguments are completely wrong, and you can deal with them straight up. Other points are just a misunderstanding of how physical gold and silver should be viewed in their wealth portfolio. Remember, your government worked very long, 
very hard to ensure that Americans don't even think about physical silver and gold. And it worked like a charm. But I'm convinced that the time will come, sadly enough, where we'll be seen as right. So keep telling the story. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay.